Turmeric is phenomenal. Either you take it in liquid form, capsule form, or you just keep on, it, it comes also too as a Hello everyone, this is Dr. Jawad. In this short video, I'm gonna give my top 10 natural painkillers. Now, when I talk to my patients over the phone and or if I correspond them with email, they're not in my office that I could take care of their pain symptom. So what I do is I recommend 10 top natural painkillers that my patients can take on their own. Now, in no particular order. Now, first and foremost, okay, sinus pain. Oftentimes we have sinus pain due to change of weather, change of allerg our allergies, the temperature, what have you. Okay, the number one that I recommend natural painkiller for sinus pain is horseradish. Why horseradish? Because horseradish contains high levels of sulfur, which creates a tremendous antibiotic effect. Now, I recommend is that you take the horseradish, hold in your mouth, Okay, and wait until its flavor dissipates. And you'll see, again, your sinuses will drain and the pain will calm down. Next, toothache or any type of gum infection. Okay, it could be a gum infection just due to, again, poor dental work, or it could be a toothache due to a potential cavity. I recommend cloves. Now, with cloves, you want to mix a half a teaspoon, you want to mix a half a teaspoon of olive oil with about three drops of cloves oil. And what you're going to do is you're going to put them on a cotton ball and apply it to the toothache. And you'll see that the pain from the toothache or the gum inflammation will go down. It's pretty amazing. Number three, heartburn. Heartburn in the stomach, heartburn in the GI system. The number one remedy, natural remedy that I always recommend to anybody is apple cider vinegar. Apple cider vinegar definitely has a stabilizing effect of the acidity of the stomach which in turn, which will help decrease the heartburn almost instantly. Now, I always recommend start with one teaspoon, okay? One teaspoon and you wanna mix in with eight ounces of water. Start off with one teaspoon and then eventually you'll graduate up to two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. Now, I recommend, again, either with the heartburn, you wanna take it immediately or if you want to use the prevention of heartburn, Take it upon waking first thing in the morning. That's going to help stabilize the acidity of the stomach. Next, bladder, any type of bladder infection, UTI. Now, blueberries. Blueberries are, are a phenomenal natural cure for any type of bladder infection, UTI, any type of stuff like that. Why? Because it has a great source of polyphenols. Now, what, what polyphenols do okay, is that they block the infectious bacteria from actually clinging to the inside of the tubular lining, okay? One, two, it will help, blueberries will help clean out the, um, the kidney, all the, all the uh, little structures inside the kidney, okay? So again, it will decrease any type of infections within the kidney, the tubular lining, the bladder, the urethra, the ureters, it's phenomenal for, again, any type of bladder or UTI infections. Number five, sore muscles, peppermint. Peppermint is phenomenal for sore muscles. Take peppermint, put it on the sore muscle. Why? Because peppermint has menthol and the, the cooling effect of menthol will help decrease the sore muscles. Now, what I always recommend to my patients is that if you actually want to amplify that menthol feeling, Put some frozen vegetables on that, on that sore muscle area. So again, so if you have a sore forearm, put the menthol on there and then take some frozen peas or the vegetable of your choice and just put it on there for about 20 minutes. You'll see a dramatic cooling effect on the skin which will help decrease that sore muscle aches and pains. Okay, tip number six for chronic pain, turmeric. Whether you have it in liquid form, whether you have it in capsule form, tablet form, and or spice form. Turmeric is key for any type of chronic pain. It's also good to help stabilize blood sugar, okay? Because the key ingredient with turmeric is curcumin. Curcumin is, again, this is a key ingredient, the key element which will help with chronic pain with the turmeric. Tip number seven, general, in, just any type of general injury pain, water. 
The body is about 75 to 80 percent water. So when patients come to me and they have and they complain of overall just body aches, the number one question I always ask is how much water you take. Because any decrease of water, your muscles like the water to operate. It's like a natural lubrication. So if you're dehydrated, this is where you get overall chronic, you know, chronic pains. So again, I always always recommend water. You want to keep yourself fully hydrated. Plus, water is good to help flush out the kidneys. It's helped to help you know stabilize blood pressure. It's helped to, to maintain mental focus. So again, water is multifactorial for your overall body's general health. Joint pain and headaches. Joint pain and he headaches, cherries. Cherries contain anthrocyanins. Okay, now what that does, those are natural anti-inflammatory. Cherries for joint pain and headaches. Next, stomach bloating or gas. Key, pineapple. Think about pineapple, it contains a digestive enzyme called bromelain, okay? Also too, bromelain is multifactorial. Not only does it help, again, with the stomach gas bloating as a digestive enzyme, but also too, bromelain is a phenomenal anti-inflammatory. So either you're gonna take it with pineapple and or the supplement, bromelain. It's phenomenal for dig digestive enzymes. Also too, it's phenomenal for pain control. Bromelain and pineapple. Last, muscle pain. Now muscle pain, again, you do have sore muscles, again, with the menthol. Okay, with the peppermint, but also too, with overall muscle pain, ginger. Ginger is a phenomenal natural anti-inflammatory. Now again, you could also mix and match these. Okay, so I always recommend to my patients as well, if they have stomach or bloating or gas, any type of GI distress, take ginger, hence ginger ale. Okay, it's a natural anti-inflammatory. But again, these are just my, nat my 10 to top 10 natural painkillers that I recommend to my patients because I can't, I'm always not in the office to treat. I hope this could help you out as well. If it does, please share with a friend. Please hit the like button down below and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I'll see you next video. Be well and live pain free. Hello, this is Dr. Juwad. Please subscribe to my channel for more up-to-date videos. And thanks for watching.